Hello. This is the second wedding film commentary in this series. Um, Emma and Dan, which we filmed back in July 2019, which was last year, uh, as a film in this. We, this, this was a, a single shoot job because um, a couple of days later we had a destination wedding in France, so Lisa had to drive us that night uh, down to Dover so we catch the ferry and the long drive over to where that took place. Just to give you a heads up on the equipment that we use, I'm not going to tell you what we took, only what we used, or I used, sorry. Uh, so we had two Sony A7 III's, two 85mm Sony's, uh, one 35mm Samyang, which I don't really use anymore, uh, three Tascam DR10s for the speeches and vows, a number of these Sony TX650s uh, for readings and backups of vows. The spider Black Widow belt clip so I could attach the cameras to my belt. Mavic 2 Pro. Um, two small um, tripods. And I think that was it, uh, apart from batteries and memory cards. So let's get straight into it. Dan, you've always been like a brother to me. So this is the brother of the groom, as he just mentioned then. Um, I always liked, well not always, but I mostly like to start um, with a joke or some sort of nice opening line just to capture the audience. This was filmed at Wyersdale Park um, in Lancaster. Um, one of our favourite venues of last year, really beautiful place. So glad that I took the drone for this one, because I didn't take many toys on this being a single shooter, but I'm really glad that I took the drone. You're such a kind, caring and funny man. So the bridal preps, um, mostly shots on the 85 F1.8. We always shoot pretty much wide open. Oh, we've got 40 odd seconds in and the credits have only just come up. So it was fairly dark in these bridal preps but this most cameras can manage this sort of thing now really just a point of interest two of our former brides are actually bri uh, bridesmaids in this or at least one is and the other one was doing a reading nice silhouette shot apart from the uh, makeup artist lights now when it comes to being a single shooter um you don't really get much chance to see the groom in the morning but I saw sort of treat their arrival at the venue and when they're greeting people and putting the flowers on as the groom preps really when there's only a single shooter. I won't go into the details but it started and finished with me and a blubbering wreck. Um, the speech is filmed with both 85s, one on the crowd, one on who are, uh, the, the speaker couple of detail shots um, and as I call them the groom preps if you will all nice close-ups with the 85 flicking back and forward to the bridal preps just allowing a little bit of uh, ambient audio just to come through so it's not all music young in lust and carefree times now this um, reading was recorded with the TX650 just attached to um, Heather here. You can just about see it on the right. When it comes to readings, if it's just a generic one, I'm not really bothered about leaving them in. But if it's something personal that's been written for the bride and groom, then yes, definitely going in. Nothing holding you back now you're Emma and Dan. A house, now a home, a new family in the making. Learning each other sweet dreams you're creating. Then three became four. Heather actually we shot her wedding the previous year. Nice room, well lit at the front, really good. So for this, uh, for the bride coming down the aisle, because I only had one angle walking down, usually I like to have more than that, but it was just a little bit cramped. Um I kept the focus mainly on the groom which worked quite well I thought just because I wanted to keep it safe I would like to say the biggest as you can see he's wearing the task camp for his vows there on his lapel 
Good emotions from me. I was I was smiling at that. So we just let you know the bridesmaids walk into focus rather than trying to track them. If I had another angle, I'd, I'd risk tracking, but not for this. And I think it works quite nicely. You can see her walking into focus. I do. I think I do track her right at the very end. This was with a 35. Emma, this is Emma. This is about Emma. You are such an amazing daughter. And I'm sure you all agree. So I like to mix up the speeches. We flick them back and, black, sorry, back and forward between individual ones if they're relevant to certain times of the story. Uh, 85 here. Uh, 35. I'm not happy the fact that I got both from the same angle. You, I, I do like the other one, but it was quite cramped. So I'm... If I could go back, I would have changed that a little bit, but it's done. It's it's not. A, see, that's nicer, you know, because we're getting the rings going on there. It's slightly different angle, even though it is from the same vantage point. May this ring remind us of this moment and of the commitment I have made to you. For those of you that don't know how me and Emma met. I like seeing, I like shooting through things for the speeches just to get a lot of depth. So, you know, the heads, just so it looks like you're filming. You, sorry, you are actually a viewer who sat down. The same here with the flowers, you know, just add, you know, you've got the depth of the background, the people in the, in the crowd, and the depth of the flowers. I don't always include the sign in the register. Use I might give that as, as an extra, but it's just it's not really relevant for video. It's more of a photo opportunity, really. So I did a tracking shot with the 85 on this, and it it grabbed them all the way up really until they got too close to me. I had to release it. So it's very rare that I'd actually do a slow mo shot on confetti. Um, but I just got in the crowd and just tracked him and got her hand and flowers at the end. I was quite happy with it. It's not what I usually do. Um, and straight into the drinks reception where we sort of upped the pace a little bit, you know, with a little bit of more funky music. And because we started getting more funky, we added more of the humour where he's telling stories about how they met mixed in with all the action going on in the gardens so the, the drinks reception are really easy to shoot you're literally just walking around i'd say with an 85 most of the time just getting headshots just for a few seconds that's all you need because i usually put it into some sort of like fast action montage and this is a chance where you can get family members in there just to add them into the film really Um, so we took them off for a, a short walk, but we're going to come back to this later where we do. It's almost like a styled shoot, really, we do. It's not, but he just turned into that. My absolute rock. I'm the most amazing mum to Emma and our dogs. I love you. Oh, I love you so, so. Just gold when a groom starts losing it. Absolutely brilliant. So, so glad I bought the drone for this bit. So just the 85, handheld, and a drone, and we took them out with the photographers, created this nice little montage, um, and they, they were just up for anything really, uh, we, this is Emma's son just doing a, a, a short reading. Dan really couldn't roll that boat, but it didn't matter. Quite haunting that shit, I think, really. And then we took them on the pier just for a little bit of kissy schmoozy just to add in there before, you know, because we didn't take them out for long, really. But just as a point of interest, uh, both myself and the Scott Lee boys, who are the photographers, both had drones and they nearly lost those in a set of trees. So be careful. Together for Ed and Bruce and Dolly the dogs. And seeing how you always support each other, no matter what. And we're back to the best man who's sort of introducing us into the even reception. 
uh, Donna there as well, whose uh, wedding we shot a couple of years ago. And Matt, her husband, who was actually banned from talking to me because Emma thought he'd distract me too much. So for the first dance, 85 handheld, um, the 35 just for the static shot, no slow-mo in this, just, I just wanted nice shots, you know, we had one light at the back, um, I forgot to mention that in the equipment before. So glad it wasn't a slow dance because they can get a bit tiresome sometimes. And then straight into the action where we can just get on the dance floor, uh, usually with a 35 at this point just getting close to everyone because everyone's had drinks they're used to you getting with the band uh, lots of fast cuts all shot f1.4 f1.8 and uh, get some real nice depth of field because uh, you get plenty of detail shots when you're shooting uh, dance floor action you know on instruments uh, lights people shoes and then we finish off with this nice drone shot it's almost like a viking film really um but with a little sting at the end. I probably, if I look back, I wouldn't have this again. But just as I was leaving, there was one of the friends who just stood there contemplating. And I said, can I just shoot that? And he said, yeah, why not? If you've got any questions about how we film weddings, please drop them in the links below. Uh, please don't forget to press the subscribe button. Bye for now.